Today, among us, are two people that the church wishes to recognise and honour. In fact, the local church of Townsville felt so strongly about this that we asked His Holiness the Pope to consider our request and bestow on Len and Lynn Horner a papal honour of suitable rank and class. I have great pleasure today to convey to you, and especially to Len and Lynn, that both have been made a knight and dame of the Order of St Gregory the Great in the civil class. The Order of St Gregory is one of the five orders of knighthood of the Holy See. It's bestowed upon Roman Catholic men and women as a recognition of their personal service to the church and the example they give to the community as a result. The Pontifical Order of St Gregory the Great was established in 1831 by Pope Gregory and has allowed all the popes since to recognise Catholics from time to time for their service and their loyalty. Clearly, looking at the CVs of Len and Lynn, as I have done, the Diocese of Townsville has and continues to be in their debt, for they have given their all to the Diocese that they have loved and known so well for so long. They love the church, and the church loves them. <coughs> Archbishop Len Faulkner, Father Michael Lowcock, and one of Lynn and Len's daughters have recorded messages today along these lines, and we will play them shortly. For my part, your presence in my life, Lynn and Len, as I begin my new role as bishop, has been a reassuring one. I know you both wish to retire, but your new bishop won't let you. <laughs> yet. But I want to add my voice today to what has already been prepared. This is a great day, a day when we want to honour one of our own sons and daughters. And Lynn and Len are more than worthy to receive this great honour today. Lynn and Len, congratulations. You deserve all our admiration and thanks. The honour you receive today is our way of holding you up as models in the community. You inspire us and you make us so very proud. I call Lynn and Len to come forward to the sanctuary. Laura is going to bring up now the parchments and Joan and Rebecca will bring up the medals. And I will read now the English translation of the honour for Len as Laura holds up the Latin copy facing the assembly. Franciscus Supreme Pontiff, having considered the requests freely presented, we recognise your contribution to the well-being and advancement of the Church and the Catholic cause, and we wish to give you a well-deserved expression of our gratitude. So we promote you, Leonard James Horner of the Diocese of Townsville, to be a knight of the Order of St Gregory the Great in the civil class. This we make and declare, and to you we grant the faculty of using all the privileges that go with this dignity. Given at Rome, at St. Peter's, on the 7th day of January, 2017, signed Pietro Cardinal Parolin, Secretary of State. Franciscus Supreme Pontiff. We hand now that to Len. Having considered the request really presented, we recognise your contribution to the well-being advancement of the Church and the Catholic cause, 
and we wish to give you a well-deserved expression of our gratitude. So we promote you, Lynette <coughs> Pamela Horner of the Diocese of Townsville, to be a Dame of the Order of St Gregory the Great in the civil class. This we make and declare, and to you we grant the faculty of using all the privileges that go with this dignity. Given at Rome at St Peter's on the 7th day of January 2017, Pietro Cardinal Parolin, Secretary of State. Eternal God, source of every gift and talent, through your Son, Jesus Christ, you grant us your blessings that the church might be nourished and strengthened. Bless Len and Lynn today and confer upon them the gifts of your spirit that they may remain humble in heart as they serve your household, the church. Bring us all into the peace of your kingdom where all honour and glory are yours. Lord our God, forever and ever. Now my little rubric in red suggests that perhaps we sit down now because a little message, three in fact, are coming your way. Place on the, the medals now. I hope you've got a singlet on, Len, because <laughs> it'll stop the pin going in. happy to have the opportunity of joining with so many friends in Townsville and in congratulating and, and giving thanks to Len and to Lynn for, for their wonderful achievements, not, for, so not only for the, 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 um, the award, but, but, but more importantly for what they've done over the years. I can remember coming to Townsville in 1967. I was consecrated on the in November '67, and uh, and and there was a real spirit of of optimism, and there was the same spirit of optimism a few a few weeks ago when 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 the bishop the bishop was consecrated, and 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 so uh, I think that that this has been a very appropriate uh, uh, awards because. They've been with the church and with, with, with God, of course, for so long. I think it's also very important that, that what Glenn has done in the church office has been quite remarkable over, I was going to find out how long it was, but I think it was about 30 years. And, uh, and, then, and, and Lynn has run a parish, and the, one of the bigger parishes in Townsville, and she's done it so well and the people were always... So happy to have that. They're both retiring now, but the the, um, uh, the and and this was the forerunner to a whole lot of lay people becoming involved in the ch in church life, and all these hundreds of people who, who became involved in the life life of the church, and and, uh, and especially to Lynn and Len, who are being congratulated today on the reception of their medals. Len and Lynn, it gives me great pleasure to know that you've been offered one of the most significant awards the church could uh, show towards you, both for the work you've done uh, for church in our diocese in particular. Uh, you've been a tower of strength to so many people, 
and touch so many lives in the course of all the ministries you've been involved in and tonight's night for us to celebrate that. So may God continue to bless you, thank you from our hearts and may you always uh, remain uh, close to us for we appreciate you deeply and love you sincerely. Hi Mum and Dad. On behalf of myself, Angela and Bridget, congratulations, you're officially super Catholics. I think now when you go to the Vatican you're entitled to say things like, don't you know who I am? And I'm kind of a big deal, just ask the Pope. Seriously though, there are no two people more deserving of these awards than you. For as long as we can remember, your dedication to the church has been part of the fabric of our lives. Through the church, you gave us an upbringing filled with unique opportunities and diversity. It also gave us an insight into who you are as people, through your love of God, your sense of community, and your pursuit of social justice. I think it's safe to say that you wouldn't be who you are without the church, and we certainly wouldn't have it any other way. But now it's time to celebrate, because there's nothing like a Lifetime Achievement Award to make you feel closer to death. So have a fabulous day. Home by 3pm, please. And not too much sugar. Dad, I'm looking at you. Love you. Mwah.